What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2, and I thought we were going to be done this week. I really did after we did four parts of Penny's Pursuit, Back to the Far Future 2. Uh, but wow, look at this. There's something right there. This is a new timed event, you know, spelled with the, uh, the time warp spelling. Uh, this is going to be amazing. This is brand new. This is called uh, the Big Yard Big Top. It's basically a brand new world. Of Plants vs. Zombies, uh, Zombies, is that a zombie on stilts? Play through 30 levels of our new Backyard Big Top experience. The timed event is only active for a limited time. So this this is what we covered like last week where they had, uh, it was, oh man, I'm forgetting, it was Feastivus. It was Feastivus, and before that they had Food Fight, uh, which I missed because of the fact that I was uh, I was moving and stuff. But but I did Feastivus. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I've done Feast of, Feast of Us before, and I had fun. Uh, but this is brand new. Brand new zombies. Like, There's like a monkey right there. What is that about? There's brand new zombies, 30 levels of it. I don't know how hard it's going to be, but there's only 12 days. So basically what they've done is they created a new world. Instead of putting it in adventure mode, which I think they should have, so you can play it as much as you want, they put it in a limited time event, so you got to play it now. And uh, that's just uh, incredible. Look at this, look at this. They have all of the regular adventure worlds here. And, like, you know, sometimes they make you, um, not make you, but they have, uh, they present you um, options to play additional levels, you know, in, in the travel log, for example. Let me claim all that we've done. Uh, but this is, no, this is different. Hold on, let me just scroll through and make sure I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not misunderstanding anything. Incredible. This is it. A new thing, Backyard Big Top. We're, we're going to start covering it. I don't know if we're going to get through it all today. I, I really don't know if it's going to be hard or not. But we're going to see new zombies, new stage. This is going to be awesome. Let's go in and let's play. Here we go. This is awesome. Uh, I was not expecting this at all. Uh, I could have, if I would have done research and read the logs and stuff, I could have. But look, it's like the Big Tops. It's a cover-up. We're in tents. Intense, Penny. Indeed, it appears the Backyard Big Top has come to town. Your backyard in particular. The big top will block sun falling from the sky. Plus, it's night out. <laughs> okay. So, survive a backyard big top bombardment. This is level one. And that looks pretty cool. This looks pretty cool as well. Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, sh the new, new zombies, obviously. But these guys look pretty basic. I'm just going to go over here and take a look. Maybe even... Can I take a screenshot? Which button is the screenshot? That wasn't it. I just shut down the game. <laughs> How do you do screenshots? Let's see. There it is. I want a screenshot for the thumbnails, you know. I don't think this is much different than before, but it's nighttime. It looks pretty cool. Um, How are we going to handle this? I guess we just go. Let's just play. We can choose whatever we want. So I guess the difference is, is that... Yeah, hmm. Okay, so they create a whole bunch of new zombies, but they do not create a whole bunch of new plants. So it's not exactly like an adventure world. You know what I mean? It's not exactly the same thing. So, okay. So maybe it makes sense as an event because they're not unveiling a whole bunch of new standard plants. And maybe it'll be really... I don't know, man. Okay, let's just let's just pick and choose what we got to do. Uh, we can't bring in mints for some reason. Uh, but, you know, we can we can bring in... The, there, there's... I can produce sun, right? I mean... It, I think, but I can't bring in the that particular sun, sh you know, the 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 enlightenment for the sun shroom. Um, these just look like basic zombies, so let's not worry too much about it. Let's go, and let's see what we can get done. And uh, like I said, my my plants might be so like like these type of events might be meant for all players, and my plants are such high level that maybe it just doesn't make sense for this to be such a challenge for me. Maybe it's just supposed to be for fun, you know. So this is another aspect. I can't choose like a difficulty when, when going in on these. I just I just play. So uh, I'm just picking and choosing and seeing what we do. And I got a teleport out of mine in case things get really out of control. So let's do it. Here we go. And we'll help take care of the graves and stuff. And uh, but so sun's not falling. That's fine. I'll make my own. At least I'll try to make my own. I probably should have run in like a tile turnip or something. Okay, yeah, these zombies are easy. So I'm a little worried that I'll be able to just fly through these like like I did with Feast of Us. But uh, we're getting glimpses of these new zombies. They have a new look, at least. They, they're maybe not new in functionality yet. But eventually there might be, so we'll see. 
And maybe I'll just get this all done in one episode. I really don't know how this is gonna go, but it seems like level one I got in the bag, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> they have hair, though. Okay, so, there you go, next level, level two. So if they're all gonna be this easy, we might be able to really just breeze through them in about an hour total. That's how we do with Feast of Us. Uh, so let's see what level two is all about. Okay, same type of zombies, but these have the up and down movements, um, if they even make it that far. So, let me think what I actually wanna do then. Uh, still can't bring in the mints. It's so weird that I can't bring in the mints in. Let me bring in the uh, Boingzetta just to destroy the graves. And... I, you know, I'm probably not going to slow them down with Ice Weed yet because I want to see them come out, you know? I want to see them... I want to see what happens, you know what I mean? Come on, Boingzetta. Boom! There you go. Everything's gone. Just to get up so I get the sun back. I don't, I don't We're waiting for them to come out here. And I'm taking it slow for now just to kind of see what kind of new mechanics might be here. I bet he's going to move up. Is that what he does? I mean, that's just a... Looks like it's on... Is it on water? What is, what is that? I don't know why that's on water. <laughs> I don't know the significance of it being on water. Like, Okay, but uh, anyway, we get the idea. They have tiles like that, don't they? I mean, pretty sure they do. Okay, so, um, we're taking him out pretty quick. This is level two, it's gonna be easy. I don't even know if these are going to become a challenge at all. So yeah, I mean, they're, they're a bit stronger there, sure. All right, level two done. Next level, level three coming up. Uh, we're gonna get through this. I kind of wish this were a little more challenging, but we'll see. Whoa, what? That is a tall zombie, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm just gonna bring the same things. It's giving me some walnut. I, wanna, I bet he goes over walnuts. That's probably why they gave it to me, just to like prove a point. But I'll let it happen, you know, I'll, I'll wait, I'll be patient. I want to see this actually play out. I want to see what he does. It's kind of cool if he just steps over, but I don't. I should have brought tall nuts in to see if he would step over tall nuts too. I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm just guessing this is what he does. I have no idea. Could be wrong. The problem is, is I might end up beating him before he gets a chance to make a move. So I'll try to delete. If I see him come out, I'll try to delete my, you know, my peas or whatever. I, I don't know. I should maybe bring in something a little more straightforward, just so that, like... Because this is really easy. Alright. As soon as he comes out, I, I bet it'll throw him out in the middle. No, there he is. Hold on. There we go. I want to see what he does. Uh, What does he do? Impair. Does he just eat it, or does he step over it? What does he do? He doesn't care what's on the ground. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it, all right, I get it. Boom, but they all become imps anyway, so. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. He doesn't care about obstacles. That's a neat idea for a zombie, and they put a lot of artwork into that. That's a really cool look. And we did it, okay, that was easy. I feel like it's missing some of the sounds again. I don't know. Could use some music for this one, huh? All right, so. Plants on minecarts can be moved. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> so, let's see what's gonna happen here. Okay, so the big big guy's there. Um. <laughs> it's already going. I'm gonna wait for it just to break the graves before I start. No. Um. Let's switch it up a little bit because the electricity is really powerful. And. Uh, which is fine, um, but let's just go kind of basic. You know what I mean? Let's just go kind of basic and see if it, I don't know, gives me, I mean, because the electricity hits like all rows at once basically, so let's just go kind of basic. Maybe we'll even bring in, um, 
I mean, yeah, if I really want it to dominate this, this head butter lettuce. <laughs> we'll see how basic it is. Anyway, ready, set, plant. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it doesn't let me bring in the mints. I don't really understand why not. But uh, anyway, we got what it takes, I'm pretty sure. All right, so we're starting off with him. He's he's going to go down really quick with this melon, right? Does he have phases? Does he, like, no, he just falls, but then he moves. Okay, and then he would be, you know, receptive to obstacles at that point, probably. He'd be like, okay, yeah, that's going to hurt. So, yeah, we're going to pretty much clear the stage. It's kind of sad. I mean, I wish that at these stages were a little bit harder. I, I, I would get to like, experience like a real challenge here. Or maybe like I wish it let me turn off like all my progress that I've ever made. You know what I mean? Like. There we go. I mean, they're, they're defeated. I'm so OP compared to this. Okay, next level. So yeah, we're probably gonna get through this in about an hour. I would, I would think. No need to split it up into multiple episodes. And, um, man, let's rock. Oh, I should, I, I did bring in the poinsettia. So the really cool thing about this is I just get to claim all the sun, like, immediately. And plant food, by the way. So I'm just going to, you know, since there's nothing new, really, this time around, I'm just going to put this uh, in the front in hopes that, that, that it works pretty well. Like, yeah, he's just gone, like, in three hits. So that, if that's how it's going to be, then that's how it's going to be. And we're going to be able to clear these stages really quickly then. There you go. Hey, look at this. This is this is nothing. Like, basically, I can defeat... As soon as they can step out, I can defeat them. That's just the uh, that's just how easy it is. With me being this OP. But it's fun to see new zombies. Claim my coins, 5,000, next level. We'll see. You know, maybe there'll be a new Gargantua or something. That'll be really cool. Uh, okay, survive. Yeah, this is going to be easy. Uh, okay, same thing. You, you know, I don't see anything new yet, so we're going to go with it again. There we go. Basically, like, as soon as I can plant these down, the sooner I can plant these down, the better. All right. <laughs> so we had the, the, the flag, you know, the flag leader zombie right there. But, yeah, this is just this total destruction here. We got, like, three waves, and we're handling them all just fine. If I see something that is new... Then it'll be a little more relaxing. Like, like I'll, 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 I just won't try to obliterate them quickly. I was like, oh, they're new. Let's, let's see. There you go. Even quicker than the head butter lettuce right there. <laughs> Such a shame. I, I really kind of wish I could just turn off all my progress for this and just, you know, really just experience it like as a brand new player or something. Um. Okay, there's a gargantuar. So okay, this this time I'm, I'll take it easy. I will uh, see what we got. I want to see what this Gargantuar does. He has twin imps on his back. Um, I'm pretty confident if I put the head butter lettuce up front, you know, we'll crush him. But let's just kind of go uh, at a relatively slower pace. And these, you know, these repeaters will have pack a punch. And maybe if it's too much of a punch, like already, man, they're already defeating him. If it's too much, maybe we'll just, like any, anything defeats these zombies super quick, it seems. Like, how about our lettuce or these? Like, these are, like, one-shotting these, but basically two-shotting them. Okay, here's a guy. I just want to see him. I just want to see him. Let me, uh, let me, I'll dig this up. I just want to see him. He looks so cool. He's got twin imps on his back. He's carrying a thousand pounds, uh, two thousand pounds, technically, right? All right, let's put this back. Let's see what happens. He's going to throw the imps eventually. Does he throw two or at, at once as a deal? Because sometimes the gargantuars with multiple gar with multiple imps on the back throw... Uh, yeah, throw one at a time. So there's two at a time. Oh, then it splits. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay, I gotcha. 
I gotcha, I gotcha. And then uh, we're gonna be able to take all these guys out. Not, no big deal still. So it's an imp that splits. Pretty clever. Haven't seen that mechanic yet, I don't think. Maybe we have. I mean, well, they split kind of from the barrels when they come out. But uh, we'll see. Survive a backyard big top bombardment. Let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Okay. Uh, I don't really see anything to worry about. All right. Boom. The zombies are coming. Um. There you go. Two hits. Okay, so these guys are gonna go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hold on. The sandstorm. I mean, so okay. Well, he got through. He did not get through. The look at that. So the, normally the sandstorm would not be getting through. So sun. Okay, sun doesn't fall from the sky. That's the whole thing. Sun doesn't fall from the sky because of the of the big top or whatever. So I am under a little bit of, you know, economic pressure here. But overall, things are going well. Final wave. Alright. Good job. Next time, there's how many? There, there are 30 levels? There are 30 levels. That's a lot of levels. Holy cow, there's a lot of levels. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's just keep going. I need some more. Let's uh, just grab them. An 80 pack right there. So. Let's see. Survive and protect the endangered plants. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of these guys. Man. So if I really want to. You know, I might just go with, uh, I mean, th those are fine, but uh, those are best when I can do, you know, my mints. I can't bring out my mints. So let's go with the uh, Primal Sunflower instead. So I got to protect that plant. Not a big deal. I don't think it'll, it's a big deal, at least. I'll put it there. I'll, I'll let them come out a little bit. The zombies are coming. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. That's okay, we get to dig them up. So plant food. Let's go ahead and spend that on the economy. There we go. There we go, not so bad. I really don't think it's gonna be an issue uh, with them you know, getting at, the, at this mine here, but we'll see. All right. I mean, they just walk out and then I beat them down pretty quick, so you know how it goes. I do want to maybe reinforce the middle row there. Let's do this. There you go. There you go. We're ready, but we're done. So next level. <laughs> 30 stages of this. And we're about a third of the way done. If not a third already. I am curious what, what kind of stuff they're going to bring out other than this. Okay, so more Gargantuars. Seems about it. So let's just rock and roll with this. We're going to get a lot of stuff pretty quickly, pretty immediately. Thanks to the, uh, thanks to the uh, Boing Zeta here. Boing. Look at that. Amazing. I'm glad I brought that in. And we're just going to put these wherever we feel like it. There we go.
Okay. I mean, like, we're set. This is level 10. We're set. I mean, there's no way that they're going to overtake me at this point. We're set. We're going to collect our coins that drop down. And this is kind of why, like, I'm, I'm able... Like, even this, these gargantuars are not going to be an issue. They're just gone. They don't even get to throw their amps. They're gone. <laughs> we, did get, we did get to take a look at what they were like, though, you know? So... We're gonna get 50 lightning reads. I don't know what that's gonna do for me. Um, let's see here. Continue on. Where's anything new? Okay, hold on. I'm looking. There's cannons. Okay, so cannons with the. So are those different or are they just skin differently? We'll find out. Okay, I don't get to bring in a lot of stuff this time. So I've, I haven't been using Ice Weed. I haven't even been using the, the Telepotato Mine, although I kind of want to. Uh, but let's go ahead and bring in this. And head, but So they've limited the things I'm allowed to bring in, which is fine. I don't think it's going to be a huge issue overall. All right. I kind of want to just be a little patient because I want to see the cannon in action just before I just like destroy it in like one hit. You know what I mean? I want to see the cannon in action. I want to see if it does anything special. It's not a problem. Okay. Okay. Here's the cannon. Before before we just obliterate the cannon, I want to I want to I wanna wait. I want to see what it does. Okay. So the cannon the cannon shoots one imp. The imp seems kind of strong, and it shoots it to like a random row, so you can't really know where it's gonna go. So that's pretty cool. And we got another one down here. I don't know if I can take care of it before. No, we got it. We got it. Didn't even shoot. So it doesn't take that much, does it? We got a gargantuar coming in. All right. There we go. Defeat, and uh, you know one thing I could do. Well, we're gonna get fifty of the lightning reeds. All right, let's, let's just see what happens. Okay, I don't know what's gonna happen uh, with this. Uh, so it's giving us. I can't bring the mints in. Such a shame. I don't think I need to bring in the Boinzetta for this. There's only a few graves. But on, you know, a stage where there's like a lot of graves, I would bring him, you know, I would just use the Boinzetta pretty quick. I think, you know, even just having one column of the repeaters is probably enough to just win the whole thing. But we'll, we'll see. I'll... I'll I think this will be enough. Let's just find out. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna watch it. I don't think I need to go out all out and do anything else. I don't know that the um, the new tall zombies are any. Uh, do, but at the end of this, we'll go through the almanac and read about all these new zombies because these are really cool. So yeah, I mean, pretty pretty easy. Pretty easy right there. Still, level 12, pretty easy. Let's do level 13. I'll probably put out an impair. And then I'll get to use some plant food on it. That'll be cool. And I don't see anything new. Uh, but yeah, okay. Here we go. 
And I just spend this on the, you know, sun production and just, uh, just go for it, you know? Alright. Yep. Okay. And then now... I mean, we're all set. Like, we, we got all set before they really even started coming out in full force. So here's the cannon guy. The guy holding the flag. He's... I don't know, he's right there. Is he gonna eat the flower? My flower is too strong, he didn't even eat it, so... It is what it is. This is the shortcut here, just using the impaired like crazy. There you go. <laughs> just striking him down, this is, this is wonderful. We're almost to the halfway point. Survive. Let's see if there's any, anything new here. Uh, maybe there's like a fire guy. Maybe. Let's see. We'll see. Like maybe like a fire twirler or something. But that's usually found in fairs, right? Boom! Break on through. I love it. Like it was trying to prevent me from putting things in the back. But guess what? Okay, so he hold on. He's that's pretty cool. It's a fire breather. He's like a distance. Hold on, let me stop. Let me stop shooting him. He's he set himself on fire. Dang it! I wanted to kind of see him in action a little bit more. He seemed like to be able to shoot fire from a distance, which is really interesting. But also, he didn't just immediately set my plant on fire. So uh, let's see. Let's see if he'll come out here. I'll just put some, you know, plants up in the front. Just the free ones, you know, see if he can do anything about that. I would love to see another one. I would love to not just immediately, hold, hold, hold on, here he is, hold on, hold on. I'm putting this here. So he breathes, okay, he burns things from a distance. That's pretty cool. His beard's on fire. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? And then when he dies, he goes up in flames. So that's a really cool new zombie. It's such a shame that this isn't much of a challenge for me. But eventually, you know, I wonder if these zombies will make their way into the arena, you know? Maybe so. That's, pretty de that's a pretty devastating guy, honestly. Because being able to, to just burn your plants from a couple spaces away instead of touching them like the other like guy with fire does... It's a pretty effective move. And I kind of wonder, like, like I'm curious now, like, if I put up my, um... I wonder if I put up my, um, my head butter lettuce at the front, if he'll be able to take him out. I don't know. Hmm... Oh, I can't bring in any sun production. I was like, I was looking at it like, where, what is going on? But I get it now. Okay. Well, wish me luck. I guess. Uh, I will do my best to protect. These are good plants. Uh, but I want to see. Okay, then there he goes. No. Nope. Okay, so I'm just gonna do uh, whatever. I am curious though if, if this is far. Like, if, will he? Will the fire dude just get destroyed by my my head butter lettuces or or what? We'll see. This might just be another case where like these are so strong that even he dies instantly. Yep, yep. As predicted. Wow. Well, we're getting it done. This is the halfway point. That is a cool new zombie though, really. 
A slight variation on the previous types, but still pretty cool. That didn't do anything. Okay. We're done. We're done with level 15. Get my 50 lightning reed seed packets, which is pretty good. I, I, I just didn't realize that it wasn't maxed out yet, but leveled. So we're halfway there. 30 minutes into the video, so it's going to be about an hour long. But I'm having fun, you know, exploring what's new about these. Uh, I don't see anything new. Just a big, big, uh, big mash of, uh, oh, wait, we, can we still not bring in sun? Okay, that's fine. But what's the deal? Wait, 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 why, where's the sun? What? I mean... How do I how do I get sun at all? What? Oh, I start with sun. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. How's this gonna work? It's okay. I think I think the frontline strategy is proving its value. There we go. I bet that I bet that's all I need to win. Yep. I'm getting them instead of them getting me. Give me more sun. There you go. Sure. Why not? Put it in. Uh, boom. <laughs> I mean, you could. I mean, you can tell I'm overpowered for this. This is just. Uh... Okay, hold on. They're gonna eat it. So wait, two imps turn. Okay, no, they. Okay, well, that's that, huh? Well, let's just. Yeah. I know, I know. They're gone. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting him to make it through. We'll get some more. Large en energy pack. We're, we're going all the way to 30. We're going to see if it gets harder. I don't know. I mean, that was that threw me a little bit for a loop at the very end. I'm, I'm not too worried, though. So we got tall nuts here. So we just have a bunch of these double imps, huh? And they, we're, we're sticking with what they're giving me, which is fine. Oh, level, okay, okay, wait a second, these are level one. Hold on. I was just talking about how I wish there'd be a way to start from, okay, these are actually level one. Oh boy. Oh boy, these are level one. This <laughs> blah. Oh, yeah, that's what we wanted them to do, is to move, I guess. So that they would be here with the tall net. So this is intriguing. I, I'm so surprised I actually did this because I wasn't expecting them to give me just level ones. You know what I mean? I mean, if I get the plant through from that, I'm going to use it to produce more sun. Pretty interesting. So if they're on the, if they're on the top row and they split, do they both go to the second row? Like, what's the what's the uh, strategy for that? No, one stays in the same row, I guess. Okay, so there's a little it's a little bit it's a little bit much. But we're getting it, I think. I think. Give me more sun. That's what I really want. More sun. Oh boy, here comes the super imp. So he landed right there, huh? And he ate that immediately. Can you believe that? He ate that immediately. But we pushed him back far enough that it's it's okay, I think. Uh, let's go and give us some more. Right there would be good. Holy cow! This is uh, this is something. This is uh, oh boy. Okay. Uh, you know we're we're keeping it in there. We're we're doing okay. Somehow I'm keeping it steady. This is the final wave coming up. Oof, two of these guys at once, huh?
Okay, middle row. We can we can take care of him. We can take care of him. <laughs> I just had to unleash my lawnmower. Just an idea. Okay, so that was the first challenge. Now, are they going to give me any more like that? Like where it's like all my plants are weak? Because that's kind of interesting. All right, I won't plant on Dave's mold colonies. Okay, now we get to bring in whatever we, we want. Uh, yeah, repick. You're right. We we do want sun producing plants, like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the Boinzetta. Because look, look at this. This is going to be amazing. The zombies are coming. All right. Amazing. So three waves like this? I mean, is it going to be fine? I hope so. In case it's not, I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys up here. I'll put a, an impair right there just in case I need to call on it to destroy everything. But I think having just this combination seems to be working fairly well against these circus freaks. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. They might talk a tough fight, but you know how it goes. Final wave. Yeah, no threat, no threat. I can't believe it, easy. So we got a couple more levels left until we're two thirds of the way done with this, uh, the big top whatever. And I'm curious if they're gonna throw another level at me like that where I have to be level one. There's, a, hold on, there's a guy with a mustache. What's his story? Can we not bring in Sun again? No, we can. They're just limiting what, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm allowed to bring in, I guess. So, sun and sun production. So, what's the story with the top hat guy? Every time there's a new zombie, I take it a little easier. You know, I don't just rush the, the front lines with the uh, with the headbutter lettuce. I want to see what this top hat dude's all about. You know, does he have any secrets? Is he tough? Maybe that's it. Maybe he's just tougher. And maybe it's nothing to, to really talk about. Maybe he's just, uh, he's just a, t a tougher zombie overall. Or one shot in that guy in the bottom. Brains, brains, brains. All right, I'll wait. Okay, top row is this guy. What does he do? What is that? Whoa, he summons a headless zombie. No, is, did he teleport a zombie? Is that what he did? What did he do? He, okay, so he teleports zombies. That's interesting. Randomly, seemingly, okay. That's a cool, that's a cool zombie, man. They, they're putting a lot of cool zombies. It almost makes you wish this thing was a whole new world with new plants and all that stuff. But I guess they realize that, you know, if it were just an adventure, then they would have to make the new plants. And then two, you know, long time players like myself would already have plants that could just decimate the field, you know? So it might as well just be a limited time event. You know, I, I get it, I get it. Uh, I don't have any, I don't have any plant food. Yeah, the teleportation doesn't really affect me much. It's a cool, you know, it's a cool zombie, but I don't really know. You know, I, I'm well, I'm, I've well dealt with all the zombies on all the rows, so teleport one to another, there's no real difference to me. All right, let's go again. Sticky bomb rice here. Okay. Some more of the same, but I mean like, you know. We, should, we could go all in with Sticky Bomb Rice. I could bring even more in. That's Turkey Pult. Sticky Bomb Rice. Uh, let's bring in... Cold Snapdragon. You know, I, I try to to spice it up a little bit, not just do the same thing over and over. It's it's hard sometimes, it really is. Cold Snapdragon. 
because you're kind of relying on you know methods that are tried and true. At least I am. You know, I don't necessarily want to do something all different, you know, just because it would probably make the the video a little more interesting. <laughs> But Sticky Bomb Rice seems to be doing great on its own, so there you go. So we'll let this play out. Okay. Okay, now that's an issue. So when the imps get flung, you know, you definitely want something in the back to, to help deal with it. But I think we're going to be fine. This is the final wave. And really, if we need to, we can go boom. <laughs> I said if we need to, but also if we don't need to, we can still do it. So there we go. Next level. Claim our sunflowers. How many do we get? 50. Still haven't maxed those out. That's fine. So we got 10 more stages left. It looks like we are gonna run this episode a little over an hour. So let's see what we got. All right, nothing new. They put a Z at the end for Zack, you see that? <laughs> or maybe Z for zombie, I don't know. Um, Yeah, sure, let's just stick with the sticky bomb rice just to make things different. Make things a little bit different than they have been, just slightly. Of course, it is slower, so. There we go. The zombies are coming. It is a little annoying how slow it is. But by the time all the zombies are out, we should be, we should be fine, I think. Okay, we have a portal. A portal opening up. That's cool. Where are you from? Okay, you're, you're from here. <laughs> Why'd you come through a portal? It doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, let's just, let's just go with it. There we go. Boom. There you go. Decimated. I love it. Yeah, I mean, the sticky bun rice seems to be helping out quite well. Boom. Impair. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself with the impair. We seem to be handling this quite well. Should bring more plant food or something, right? And they're still coming through the teleporters, or the portals, I mean. Okay. Next level. It is, you know, the challenge is picking up just a little bit. Just a smidge. Uh, let's see what we got. Wait, wait, was there anything? Okay, I couldn't even tell if there's anything new. I don't think there was. So, the, okay, we're this is okay. We're back here with a the challenge. They, okay, okay. So they're giving me all level one plants again. Okay, gonna focus on the economy. Don't worry about a thing. I think we got this. Okay, he has plant food. As soon as I can, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna freeze him. Start us. Start us off. Freeze him because I'm about to get 175 sun. Hopefully, maybe not. Maybe it'll take some time. Brains. Okay. <laughs> Brains. Freeze him again. <laughs> okay, now we have a bunch of guys. Okay, well. Well, dang, dude. Come on. We're waiting to cross that threshold, man. Jeez Louise, where is it? Where is it? There we go. There's one. Right, let me put that out. Oh, boy. Freeze him again. Only freezes one. That's right. The If I had a if I had an upgraded ice, it would be a different story. Okay, but I think we're in a good position now to really work for what we what we want here. Even that didn't help too much, surprisingly. Only freezing like one at a time here, dudes. You kidding me? Okay, 
Okay, just give me some time. I can I can make this happen. I can probably make this happen. I don't know. Oh jeez, he's gonna be he's gonna be shooting a whole bunch. Wow, he burned it. He burned it. And he burned it from such a good distance too that it's like impressive. It's like I don't even like mind too much. It's like, oh, okay, hold on. They're tell he's okay. This dude, who's tell you teleporting? You doing this? Dang, are you freaking kidding me right now? Okay. There's another one there, man. This is actually kind of tough. I'm holding my own, but this is oh come on. The fact that the teleporter is there is just awful. So you can definitely see how much of an issue it becomes. Is he, is he alive or dead? There, he's, he, did he teleport himself? I couldn't even freeze him. What? what kind of birds are these? Whose birds are those? Whose birds are those? Who's who is moving my stuff? Oh my gosh! She just destroyed the sunflower. Oh no! Here, boom! I needed to do that. I really did. That was a bit much. He's still there doing stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is uh this is oh, there's no lawnmowers right now. Okay, he just fell. Oh my gosh. There's no one in the middle either, is there? Oh no. I don't know if I can handle this with just Here, freeze him. He needs to, to be frozen, probably. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? How do I do this? Dude, if he can just... Great. Great, great. Come on, come on. Give me some sun. I need a, I need a sun right now. He, go, he goes so fast. Okay, that's my first loss. I do appreciate that they give me these stages because it actually makes it a bit of a challenge sometimes. So... Hmm... And this wasn't one I got to choose, so... Uh, wow. I'm gonna, you know, just try to build up my son like I can. Hopefully, he lets me, and hopefully, we can win. I'm not gonna change my strategy that much. So bizarre. Freeze him again. Oh boy. Well, there it is. Goodness gracious, man. Look at that. Look at that guy. Blowing smoke. <laughs> All right. Okay, um I'm trying to stop him from, from burning down like my good stuff, you know what I mean? Okay, he got well, okay, fine. So we gotta worry when, you know. Teleporter guy. He really messed me up, so I'm glad I I'm glad I got him right there really quick before he really was able to do anything else. Cause that was a bit of a mess. Good lord, dude. I got the wrong guy again. Mm. He's gonna tear everything down, are you kidding me? Come on, are you kidding me? He's just gonna tear everything down. 
I can't even target him. If I could get another cherry bomb, though, that'll change things up a little bit here. I need to get rid of the teleporting guy. The teleporting guy is awful. Now, if I can get another cherry bomb, that's probably out of the question, honestly. Look at this. Look at this. The top row is just gone. How do I handle this? I don't know that I can. Holy cow. They've actually dealt me a challenge. I can't do anything. I, I don't have enough sun. There's no way that's going to blow up in time. He, he's so fast. Oh, my gosh. He's so fast. Not only does he blow fire, but he's so fast. Um, okay, so 22 play. We, uh, we'll do it. This may might take a little over an hour now. Now that they're giving me these stages that are really tough. Hmm. How do I handle him? The, I don't get to choose what I bring in. I'm just gonna play the best I can, man. I uh. The zombies are coming. Freeze, punk. Maybe I need even more sun than what I have. I mean, because like maybe that's my my main thing is like. I need to use plant food on like maybe just. Freezing everybody instead of just targeting one person, maybe. Dude, I'm not gonna. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. There you go, lucky me, huh? Boom. Don't mess with me. That's what I'm saying here. Okay, so I, you know, knowing what I know about how the ice works, you know, this is going to be potentially fun. Here, freeze everybody. Okay. Oh, what are you? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna be patient. Freeze everybody. Even the fire guys. Look, there's two fire guys right here. Got them. Got them both, the fire guys. That's gonna be a huge help for me. We're in the final wave. Freeze everybody. I think that was an okay strategy. I don't know. We're gonna have. Uh, Uh, here, right there. There you go, there you go. See, I don't even know who whose birds those were. I still don't know whose birds those were. Like, whose birds were those? I don't know. There you go. This, this stage was much better handled than... Uh, I mean, this particular opportunity was much better handled than my previous opportunities on, on the stage, so... I'm glad. Boom. Goodbye, imp. Super imp. Whatever you are. We'll read about all these zombies in a second. I kind of hope that we don't have another, <laughs> you know, challenge where, you know, they give me they start me at level one. I mean, although I was at the very beginning of this episode, I was talking about, like, I hope they level the playing field. I wish I wish there was a way. Uh, but there is, and they give it to you. And <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we got here. Um, back to normal. Good for me. Um... I'm curious, what if I were to try to capture them? You know what I mean? Like, if I try to take from them their own. Curious how it would pan out. Am, are you not? I am too. May not pan out. I don't know. Let's find out. Here we go. Okay. Let's see how it goes. 30 levels in total. I'm having fun. You know, this is a pretty good mixture. The the fact that I do get to experience what it's like with level one plants. A limited selection of level one plants is actually pretty cool. Like a really, I mean, I'm, they, they surprised me. They, they preempted my desires and they surprised me. Okay, so they're teleporting themselves. Only one of them flipped away. Are you kidding me? 
Someone get this guy. Someone get someone here. Come on, guy. Can you not get the dude? Come on, he's so close. He has the birds. That what the heck, dude? The birds are too many. Too many birds. He's gone. I lost. I need. Oh, you know what? I didn't even see the guy in the middle. I for, totally forgot. Totally forgot. All right, fine. I protect it. It went off because he got too close, right? All right. So I I don't know why I thought, hey, let's do let's do these, but no, we don't have to. We're gonna do just fine. Here we go. I am very surprised they don't let me bring in the mints, though. All right. So where do you want me? The zombies are coming. All right. Yeah, now they're going down quick. So then I'll mess around. I mean, some, sometimes I do mess around, but I'm saying maybe I shouldn't mess around because it cost me that that last time. Final wave. Boom. See, they're all dead already. Okay. <laughs> when I don't want to mess around, I don't have to mess around. So there you go. Uh, What's next with this? What is this? Whoa, what are those? Okay, so I got to be a little patient. Let's see what the let's see what those are. Uh, I'm gonna break all the graves just so I don't have to think about it. You know, dig it up so I get more sun back. I want to see what those are. All right. What does this guy do? I'm gonna put a sunflower up up close, just to see like what he how he reacts to it. Okay, I think he just eats it. Let me let me put one of these to shoot him then. What happens when he breaks? Zombie head and a jack in the box thing. Oh, the monkey comes out. Oh my gosh, the monkey's here. Stop it, monkey. <laughs> All right. I can imagine that being really annoying if that were a lot more powerful. But so far, let's see. If I use it, the, the monkeys come out when you use the impair. Wow, okay. That's pretty cool. So the monkeys come out no matter, like, like even if they loot, you know, even if... You, so weird but so cool well i was gonna say like why monkeys but i mean they had chickens and like why chickens why weasels why any of that stuff you never really know with this game <laughs> but the monkeys overall are they like robot monkeys i mean they seem to be like such an interesting uh interesting combo of things all right, level 25 is next. We are approaching the end of this. It's taking a little bit longer though. Okay. Uh huh. So they all moved down, huh? Interesting, I don't know what to do. It may not be that big of an issue if they all move down. Just curious, is that is this enough? Do they all move down? Like the like, how do they move down? Like you know, do you know what I mean? Do they just like move down, 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 all the way to one? If so, maybe this one thing will take care of them all. Okay, so they didn't move. Hmm, that was odd. They didn't move down all the way. Hmm. 
All right, let's well, let's let them do what they want to do. I'm curious how the, like the monkeys will be affected. It seems like they're they're <laughs> they're not. Whoa! Oh my God. Okay, so that that's kind of what we were worried about, right? And that was with them not being that close. There we go. We're bringing out the big guns, I guess. Well, the big gun is this, right? Boom. All right, level 25 complete. Next up, please. What's the reward at the end of this? I, I should take a peek. Hmm. Okay, no, nothing new. What's the deal? Um, okay. No big, no big deal. I have so many things on, on this. Boom, boom. So if we don't let them step out and actually get a good shot, then we think we'll be fine. All right, all right. He, oh, he burned it, he burned it. I, I don't know why I did that. I mean, that was, that was maybe a little much, I don't know. We had the best of both worlds here. We sure are getting a lot of coins during this uh, whole uh, Big Top event. What was it called? Big Top. Big Backyard Big Top. There we go. Oh, we get Teleportato Mine, which is interesting because I already have my maxed out. Okay, so that's okay. That's okay. We'll accept it. It'll be mastered even harder. That's what it means. So, uh, survive, yeah, survive again. Let's do, I don't see anything new, so I don't see any reason to not just go all out. Let's go, let's do it. It does take a little time to get this stuff out, but other than that. Nice. We're probably gonna just really crush it here, I imagine. Like, it doesn't seem like a big challenge. All right. <laughs> You guys are just falling apart. Dropping lots of coins in the process. Final wave. Sure, hit him, why not? <laughs> Trying to squeeze in, in an impair attack there just because uh, I feel like I'm not doing enough. But I'm doing quite enough. All right, so, um, doesn't look like they're sneaking in anything new either here. I do wonder what the 30th level will be like. There you go. The zombies are coming. So Brains. far, so good, huh? Brains. Brains. Yeah, I mean, it's almost too easy. Like when they, when they, you know, when they let me just choose whatever I want, it's almost too easy. But I mean, we go with this strategy. And there's no, you know, there are no special plants that go along with these, so you're kind of trying to just guess what's going to be best against them. But it looks like uh, 28 is going to go down in history as another easy performance. Keeping the symmetry going, you know, we got 29 coming up next, then 30, then it's over. So thank you for being here, by the way. Thanks for watching this series. I really do appreciate it. I cannot believe they added a whole new, like, time-limited event I wish they, like, they they say it's like a time 
thing, what, a timed event, but they don't even let you bring in the time warp, do they? No. So dumb. <laughs> um, let's see what else we can bring in. Anything new? I think it just they're just starting to throw out more and more. Not so much new and new and new, just more and more. So I've been pretty happy with how things have been going with this. This has been phenomenal. We've been really crushing it. So let's just keep on crushing it. The start has been the same. You know how it goes. There you go. There we go. And this is it. I mean, this is just take it away. Just like fast forward me because we're going to win. These fire guys are not an issue with this setup. We're just pushing like we're just so aggressive. And we're killing them. I kind of hope level 30 is just all level one plans. Just like kind of like a last hurrah type of thing. Because you've seen how they, the, the zombies can be a challenge when you have all level one plants. And that's kind of what I appreciate about this. That's what I appreciate about, like, you know, Plants vs. Zombies in general. But, it's, you know, and, and, like, the arena is kind of meant for people who are really trying to go for, like, a high score. Penny's Pursuit can be really challenging. I always do the three pepper challenge. Uh, let's just buy ten because we only need a little. We only need one more to do it. So, unless I lose. <laughs> unless I lose, then it's a different story. Let's find out what's gonna happen for level thirty. Is it all? Is it all level ones? Is it just my choice? Let's find out. Don't plan on Dave's mole colonies. No problem. Oh, it's Zomboss. It's a brand new Zomboss. Are you kidding me? That is awesome, man. They even made a brand new Zomboss. I can't believe it. Okay. Oh man, that's this is cool. It's a new Zomboss fight. Okay, so you know, I I, I don't. I, we're fine. We're fine. Honestly, we're fine. We we can bring in mints this time, huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> let's 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 do it. Let's see what happens. I mean, electricity will probably work for me just fine. But let's see what we got. Wow, a new Zomboss. That is so cool. I wish you would talk to me. Again, the the main problem here is that I have electricity. I'm gonna be doing some real damage to him. Yeah, he's he's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. We, we, we got him down. There's some music finally. There you go. I feel like the music has gotten a little bit spotty again. All right, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, he's in his fire out imps. No, you're not. I mean, yeah, you are. You, you did already, but all right, there he goes. Down for another count. And then we, we probably got him this time, right? What's he gonna do? He's gonna summon more uh, zombies here. We'll read about these zombies after we're done here. Here, just unleash. There you go, there you go. He's uh, he's about dead, right? Yep. Got him. I wonder if he's gonna say anything. He didn't, dang, that's a, that's a shame. No stories on boss, come on. Get that teleportato mine. All right, so I was really hoping that he would say something here, but that's okay. Talk to me, Zomboss, next time. Talk to me. This, this is personal, you know. So that's gone. The event's just gone. I can't play anymore. The event's just gone, dude. What? Okay. But hey, we had fun. We had proof that we played it. That'd be a shame if I forgot to record it or something. But no, we're here. We're good. Uh, so let's just upgrade what we had. To do the teleportation mine can be mastered. Uh, mastery two, probably up to three. Yep, yep. Now it's time. We've encountered them all. Let's go ahead and read through the zombies here. I don't know if they have descriptions like the. Yeah, they do. Good. 
because it's always fun what they do. They 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 put a lot of personality into designing these zombies, and so they actually, you know, write new descriptions for them. It's a long ways ahead. And they got the Z Corp zombies. Okay, here we go. Carney zombie, a hard and honest worker at a hard and earnest Carney. Carney zombie loves the freedom of the open road and would never ever cheat you. I don't know if that's true. The pointy cone. This is Carney Conehead. The pointy cone provides extra protection for this jolly fellow. It is a fact that everyone loves clowns and zombies, and therefore clown zombies. <laughs> this is Carney Buckethead. The bucket-like miniature elephant stand allows this zombie performer to withstand extra damage. It turns out miniature elephants are a much greater challenge to train than the regular-sized ones. This is especially true if the trainer is a zombie and has no mind. <laughs> Grinder head zombie. Okay, grinder box helmet provides extra defense against attack. House is a monkey. You're going to want to keep an eye out for that monkey. <laughs> this is the uh, carny flag zombie. Carrying the flag comes with extra benefits and a uniform upgrade. Exciting banners promise fun new experiences for your brain. This here is the carny cannon. Uh, launches daredevil carny imps high above the crowds. The cannon's not such a big deal, but the imp it fires. Yeesh. This is the Carney Imp Twins, a real sideshow here. Two imps are generously provided for the price of one. They're not actually twins, though they are identical. <laughs> and here is the strong man Gargantuar, bashes plants with a heavy barbell just to prove how strong and manly he is. He also has a master's degree in 18th century French poetry. <laughs> just to show he's, he's a little bit brains, not all brawn, just a little bit of brains too. This is the magician zombie. Magician zombie vanishes zombies in, in, in himself forward. On the board, and he's got sneaky doves who will try to fly off with your plants. He is such an evil magician that he'll reveal all the secrets for a shiny nickel. I didn't have a nickel at the time, but he's a pretty... They got like three really cool new zombies here at least. This one, this one, and this one. So the fire breather zombie. Uh, wait for it. Breathes fire and plenty of it. Always safety conscious. Fire breather zombie often breathes fire when there are things nearby that burn easily. Uh, that's, not all, that's not all he's confused about either. <laughs> what? All right, and then the stilt walker zombie. Stilt walker zombie stilts allow him to walk right over most plants at such a towering height. Stilt walker zombie has an elevated view of things. He refuses, for example, to buy secondhand milk. <laughs> Sign me up on that list. I want to be on that list. I, I too refuse that. Uh, and then here we go. The zombot castroliope. Uh, catastroliope. The mystery-filled circus wagon of terrors and delights can launch cannibal imps. Despite the decline of circuses in recent years, I refuse to give up on a form of entertainment with so much history and plant-destroying potential, cackles Dr. Zomboss, all while tapping out a jaunty little tune on his keyboard. He does have a keyboard up there, right? Very cool. Man, such cool new zombies. I kind of wish there was a whole world, but we had a lot of fun. Uh, there was just a, a few moments of really challenging experiences there, but tons of fun. Cool to see new zombies, for sure. Hopefully they'll be back in the future in some form, maybe even in the arena. I would love to fight against him in the arena. Uh, I hope he shows up. Or even Penny's Pursuit, of course. So, I'll see you all next time for more. I'm surprised there was a whole new mode that just came out. But here we go. We covered it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.